Hey guys, welcome back to another video and today we're going to be solving the LeetCode question reordered list. Alright, so in this question we're given a singly linked list, right? So uh, your first element is pointing to the second element, second element points to the third element, all the way to the ending which points to the element none. And then we need to reorder it to this over here. So this is uh, pretty simple, so the first element is going to stay the same, L0. And then the next element is going to be whatever was originally the last element. And the element after that is going to be whatever is the first element. And then we're going to have the n minus 1 element, and then the second element, so on and so forth. Um, so I think this is uh, this explains it pretty well. Uh, here are a few examples. So 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 uh, becomes 1, 5, 2, 4, and 3. Let's just take a quick look at it at a drawing board. Okay, so... Let's say that we're given the numbers 1 pointing to 2, uh, 3, and then 4, 5, 6, all the way up to 7. Okay, so this is our original linked list, and we need to do what they asked us to do in the question. And what is our result going to look like? Well, the first element is going to stay the same. 1 stays as 1. And what's going to change is, instead of 2, we're going to have the last element. So over here, we're going to have the element 7, and 7 is going to be pointing to 2. And similarly, then we're going to have 6, and 6 is going to be pointing to 3, and then we're going to have 5, and 5 is going to be pointing to 4. So this is how our final result is going to look like. Well, how can we solve this in terms of code? So in order to solve this, what I did is I put all of these into a queue, right? And I did not include the first variable because, well, it does not change, right? The first variable stays the same. So what I did is, let's go to, so let's say this is our queue. And what is the first element? So it's 1, but like I said, we're not going to add that to our queue. So we're going to add everything starting from 2 all the way to the ending. So we're going to end up having 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. So this is in our queue. And now what we need to do is we need to change our original linked list uh, into this order. Well, how could we do that? I'm well, pretty simple, actually. So if you look at this, there, there's a pattern. We have the number one, which we get from here, since it's the same, and one is pointing to seven. And let me just change the color, and where do you get seven from? Seven is the last element. So you, if you pop out the element from our queue, you get the number seven, so we're gonna add seven over here. And now you might be asking, well, how do you get two? Well, Q2 is going to be the first element in our queue. So now when we pop out the first element, we get the number 2. And we're just going to do the same thing. So now we're going to pop out the last element, which is going to be 6. And then we get the then we pop out the first element, which is going to be 3. And then again, uh, we're going to pop out the last element, which is 5. We add that. And then we pop out the last uh, the first element which in this case, there's only one element, so it's the number four. And we do this until our queue is empty, and this is how we get our final result. So I think it's pretty simple, and let's just go into the code real quickly. Okay, so we're gonna start off, and in the beginning, so our list node class is already defined. So this is how the class looks like, and it has an attribute of dot val and dot next. Okay, and we're given the head node to start off with. So our first step is going to be to actually add everything to our queue. And we can use a list as our queue, but instead what I'm gonna do is we're gonna use the DQ from collections because uh, using that gives us a lookup time of big O of one compared to the lookup time of big O of N for our list. So from collections, we're gonna import DQ. And over here, let's uh, initiate our object. Uh, so let's just call q equals empty dq. And before we do that, I just want to add something. So let's first check whether uh, our head even exists. So we might be given empty linked list, and in that case, we can just return. So if not head, so if the head doesn't exist, then in that case, well, we're just going to return. Okay, so uh, after that, we initiated our q. So now what we're going to do is we're going to add all of the elements starting, not including the first element, but everything after that to our queue. I'm actually going to store the value of our head in a temporary variable. So node uh, equals head. And the reason for that is because we're going to refer to the head later on. 
Okay, so over here we're gonna go inside of a while loop, so while true, and the value of our node is going to be node.next right away because in the beginning the value of the node is the head and we don't want the head, so we're just gonna start off with node.next. So we're starting off at the second element, right? So if our node does not exist, so if not node, then what this means is that the node has a value of none. And in that case, we're just going to break out. And that means that we've actually accounted for all of our elements or nodes. And if that's not the case, we're going to append that value to our queue. So queue.append, we're going to append our node. We're going to go keep going into our while loop until we reach the ending. So after the, we, we have this, we have our queue ready, right? This queue has everything, all of the elements that we need. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into another while loop, so while queue, and basically what that means is while the length of queue is greater than zero, we're going to keep adding elements onto our linked list. And this is why we store the value of the head inside a temporary variable, so now we can refer to it. All right, so we're going to start off by checking if our head exists, right? And if it does exist, then what we're going to do is we're going to pop out our element first. So let's just store that in a temporary variable. So temp equals to q.pop. And after we pop it out, sorry, brackets, okay. so we're going to pop out that variable. And after we pop it out, we need to make, we need to change the next pointer for our head to this variable. So head.next is going to be equal to that temporary variable. And after we do that, we need to change our head to the next value. So now head is going to be equal to head.next. Okay, so after we did this, so this pops out the last element. So this gets care, this takes care of our last element. Now we need to take out the whatever is at the first, so the zeroth element, right? The whatever is at the beginning of our queue. So again, we need to check if our head exists. And over here, we also need to check whether the length of our queue is bigger than zero because uh, we might, this might have been our, this could have been our last step. So we need to do that check one more time. So if head and length of queue is greater than zero, or you can just do if head and queue, uh, then in that case, we're going to uh, pop left. And what pop left does, it gets the first element in our queue. So we're gonna do the same steps actually. So temp is equal to q.popLeft. And we're gonna change the head.next is going to be pointing to this variable. So head.next equals to temp. And again, we're gonna move our head to the next uh, node. So head is equal to head.next. And that should be it. So, at the, so th we're gonna keep going until we add everything which is inside of our queue. And at the ending of this, we're going to make the last element and we're gonna change its next value to none. So the purpose of doing that is well, if you don't do that, we're going to end up having a cycle. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna say head.next equals to none and that's gonna close our singly linked list and that should be our answer. And uh, notice I'm not returning anything because everything's happening in place, so yeah. So let's submit this. Okay, sorry, so this is supposed to be from collections, not collection. Okay, and one more small mistake is head is equal to head.next over here. And hopefully that should work. Sorry for the mistakes. Okay, and yeah, so our submission did get accepted. And finally, thanks a lot for watching, guys. And do let me know what you thought about the video. And don't forget to like and subscribe if this video helped you. Thank you.